And storm damage can also be seen in the residential areas of Wrightstown tonight. Trees and power lines are certainly down, but as Fox 11's Angela Kelly reports, the situation is much worse for some. I thought the whole house was coming in. I really thought I was praying, thinking the house was coming in. And the house, the good Lord saved the house, but took down the man cave. This detached garage on Gail Lebrecht's property in rural Wrightstown collapsed under the strength of Wednesday morning storm. Lebrecht says she could hear it coming. It sounded like a real train coming through your backyard. And I thought, you know, people just said that on TV. Now I know what they were talking about. <laughs> Pieces of the destroyed garage are now scattered across her lawn. It's a similar scene at the property next door on Amos and Mary Court. This large piece of sheet metal was tossed nearly 50 feet onto a hillside, and it came from the roof of that shed. Some homes in this neighborhood were also damaged. Shingles were torn from this roof, and a tree branch pierced the side of this home, breaking a window. And you could hear the rain start. You could hear the hail. Shortly after that, these big trees were just in the wind like crazy. While there's a lot of cleanup ahead for residents of this neighborhood. We have a lot of trees that are uplifted. Um, the grill was blowing, the patio furniture is missing, pool covers shredded. They all say they will come together to make it happen. Everybody got damaged. It's not who got the worst. It's everybody got damaged and everybody pitch in and, and come together. It's like one big family. In Wrightstown, Angela Kelly, Fox 11 News.